Hey Taurus, welcome to your September 2024 monthly reading. We're just going to go ahead and get started and jump straight in. I hope you're doing well. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, that link will be down below in the description. If you click that link, it'll take you straight to my website. And then from there, you can purchase a read. But let's take a look here, Taurus, and let's see what's going on with you for the month. All right, you pulled this full card, Ten of Cups, Seven of Wands here. All right. The full card's in the position of the good stuff. The Ten of Cups is the overall energy, and the Seven of Wands is also in the uh, is in the position of the good stuff. So this top row looks really well. You do have the Devil card here in your current energy at this time. I don't really get a negative vibe off this Devil card energy. Now, obviously, the Devil card can deal with negativity and toxicity. I think at this time you could be trying you could be trying to like rid yourself of that energy here, Taurus. But really, with this Devil card. The devil card, because it's the archetype of Capricorn, can point to discipline, being critically tenacious when it comes to your goals. Like sometimes the devil card can be to where it's like we have to tighten up. It's like we have to get, we have to put restrictions on things so that way we can be able to accomplish what it is that we're trying to accomplish. So I'm feeling like in um, right now with this devil card being your current energy, I'm picking up that you're getting serious here about how you can move forward. And I think you're also starting to be like, okay, like I need to really start taking a look at the details of stuff and figuring out like how I can find better ways here to get the things that I want or to improve my situation or to just improve things in general, or just to keep things moving forward because you do have the chariot here as well in your reading. Interesting. Let's pull your Oracle cards here. Taurus. You pulled the South Node card, it says Life Debts, and you pulled this Vanishing Mirror card, it says Ego Sublimination. I'm just going to focus my camera real quick. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Let's see, I'm going to pull the rest of your Oracle cards here. You did pull this, The Way is Clear, Awaken to the Power Within You. So that's what I'm kind of getting here. It's like that chariot being in, in your challenge position here for the month. It's like you're ready to move forward here. I'm almost kind of getting, though, like you could be holding yourself back here, Taurus, or there could be this illusion of things of, you know, it could be like negative thoughts or beliefs, just things in general in which you feel like you can't move forward. But really, I'm seeing here that the way is clear for you here this month to start moving forward and start advancing in the directions in which you're trying to go, which I see you starting to do that here with that Knight of Swords being in the future position. I do think there's almost like a lot of things here, a lot of questions, a lot of things that you're trying to figure out. You know, and whenever we're going through that energy, it can feel very overwhelming, like, you know, it could be like our own mind working against us, coming up with scenarios in which, you know, why we're not going to be successful or why we can't be successful or having memories of the past that confirm to us why we can't be able to move forward with something here. But I really see like the universe is wanting you as well this this month to really like speak your mind and live authentically because you did pull this speak your word here. It says voice here. And this is really bringing up to me and showing me that. Because the voice, the voice, the the voice is the throat chakra, right? And the throat chakra actually allows for us to understand what our life purpose is, or to understand the direction in which we're going with things. But if we're not living authentically toward ourselves, or if we're not living authentically within ourselves, or if, if things in our life feel inauthentic, then we can be feeling confused, right? So I can give you an example. Like let's just say you're in a career, or you're in a job, or maybe you're working on something or doing something that really doesn't feel it's, it's lost in a, it, like in a way it doesn't really feel like it's in alignment with you uh, or it doesn't really it's not something that you want to do and sometimes when we keep ourselves stuck in that situation or we keep ourselves stuck in that energy it can feel as if like we don't have a sense of direction or we don't know what to do here so I really get like this month is like you really reclaiming here like your inner truth which is allowing for you to get clear on what it is that you want to do and how you want to do things but also like how you want to move forward with things. I'm also seeing you, you here though, like the universe is like wanting you to like, um, like to express yourself here. Like if there's anything that's on your mind or anything that you're feeling in, in, inclined to do, the universe is saying like to trust yourself here with this card. All right, let's see here. All right, you pulled this tree frog card. It says soul song, meditation, creation, rebirth. And you also pulled this snow leopard card. It says mystery, agility, belief, sensitivity here. Well, there definitely is a mystery here that you're going to be exploring here for the month of September. And, you know, the mystery could be as simple as I'm trying to figure out my sense of direction or I'm trying to figure out 
how I'm going to be able to move forward or what I should do next here. So it's like you're, you're, you're being called to embrace like being in the moment and surrendering to the moment, but listening to your intuition and allowing yourself to move, move forward. Even if you don't have all the answers, just allowing yourself to move forward. Cause I feel like as soon as you start moving forward, it's like then the answers really start coming to you and then your steps become more clear. And then the direction of things becomes more clear if that makes sense here you did pull this vanishing mirror card it says ego sublimination here you know this card and and it's what the oh, i'll get to that south node card here in a moment but this is when our sense of self is totally going through a change and that full card being here in the position of the good stuff there is some type of newer leap here that you're making or some type of newer beginning here but the full cards like, i'm kind of picking up the, this newer sense of self being born here and you're in this energy here to where it's just pure potential. And now with that devil card, it makes a lot of sense. It's like put now you now you're having to come up with like a game plan or structures here when it comes to like creating something new in your life. And so I think at this time and what you've been going through is like an ego death. But you have good news here with this reading. And so we're going to jump in here in a minute. But you do have this south node card here as well it says life debts here yeah the south node deals with the past it deals with where we've been it deals with the patterns that we're stuck in and it can deal with a, it can deal with an energy of uh, where we find comfort but that sense of comfort or the way of doing things no longer serves us and that's why we look to like the north node in astrology right to understand okay where it is that we need to aim toward or move toward so that way we can get unstuck break patterns and be able to grow and evolve and start moving in the right direction. So I'm kind of getting here that's like you're having to, you know, South Node is also like a drain, like having to like let go of like your old sense of self here and, and, and start to pave a new way here. So let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Like I said, you pulled this full card, right? And I think this is you, it's like you're stepping into a whole newer way of living or you're stepping into a newer way of self here or becoming a newer person. The full card as well is saying to take a leap of faith, I think, with this card being in the position of the good stuff, it's like by taking a leap of faith or just getting started with something, taking your first steps, you could be finding yourself here being like, oh, it wasn't as hard as I thought, or, oh, actually things are, you know, this is better than what I thought, or I'm actually glad that I took that first step. You have the 10 of cups here for the overall energy here for the month. The 10 of cups is a card of emotional and spiritual fulfillment. It's when you feel the connection to life, the mean, the, the deep meaning in life, and it makes your life worthwhile. And I think that's what you're finding here. And I think you're finding a newer intrinsic vision here that's gonna be motivating you here as well with this 10 of cups being the overall energy. So let's just say for instance, you're not in an energy of the 10 of cups right now, right? So the 10 of cups can represent finding that energy. It's like you're finding and connecting to this month that intrinsic vision here that is going to motivate you and inspire you and give your life meaning here, right? To be able to, um, something that gives you purpose, something that gives you like a, uh, gives it, it's something that's like a bigger picture here for yourself that's going to make make you feel motivated or make you feel connected to something here you do have these seven of wands here in the position of also in the good stuff the seven of wands is a card of triumph overcoming obstacles and odds defying the odds here seven of wands here as well as when one is really getting serious and finding their strength and their conviction here to stand up for what it is that they believe in and to start taking action and they're no longer letting anything hold them back here hold them back anymore and that's what you got here with this you know with this one card it says the way is clear awaken to the power within you and i think this is you awakening to your own power here and understanding that there's nothing really that can hold you back here anymore or the things that were once holding you back not holding you back here you do have the devil card, like I said, in your current energy. And it's interesting with the devil card, they have chains around their neck, but they can easily take these chains off, right? And so what that represents is like, sometimes we can hold ourselves back, sometimes we can restrict ourselves. And if you're finding yourself in this energy of feeling restricted or feeling just stuck in general, the universe is metaphorically saying to take, you know, to take the chains off, right? Allow yourself to be free, allow yourself to move in the direction here of where it is that you wanna go and unshackle yourself from anything that has been keeping you stuck. And also at the same time, come up with newer goals, newer structures here that will allow you that will allow you here or help you here achieve what it is that you want. And that chariot being in the challenge, you know, the chariot is a card of success and victory and triumph, but it's just the ability to be able to access our willpower to be able to move forward. And that seven of wands being here in the position of something that you're unaware of, or sorry, in the position of the good stuff, the seven of wands is also willpower and courage. 
So I'm seeing you here finding the strength and the courage here to really start moving forward. The chariot is a card that really wants us to take control of our destiny and start moving things in the direction in which we want to go. Um, and I'm kind of getting that there are some things here with the South Node card that it's like you're feeling stuck to. It could be like your, it could be beliefs, it could be situations, people, places, things. It could be the dynamic of things here. But this Eight of Cups being the advice is saying to remember that this is your own vision quest in life and it's important to honor your own spiritual mission in life or to honor your intuition and 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 allow yourself give yourself the permission here to leave behind what is no longer serving you and start moving in the direction of what will serve you what will fulfill you here you have the knight of swords here in the future position throughout the month of september i like the knight of swords you're finally getting unstuck here the knight of swords is like okay i'm moving forward i'm taking action on things so i see you in a and this could be a very busy month for you as well uh taurus but i'm seeing you here in an energy like you, you, you're just taking action here like there's no more waiting or keeping yourself stuck or doing the same type of pattern here that hasn't been getting you the result here that you want so with this knight of swords i see things happening quickly or things changing quickly uh, for you you did pull the two of swords here as well in the position of something that you're unaware of yeah you know, two of swords is being stuck on the fence for too long even if you take a look at this row you have the full devil two of swords and this could be to, <coughs> to where it's like we're ready for liberation we have a moment of opportunity to liberate ourselves but we have to make that decision with the two of swords so i feel like you're being encouraged here to start making decisions here that are going to allow for you to move forward and get yourself unstuck here from past situations or past things that have you know that have been holding you back the eight of swords is here in the outcome position i want to say this with the eight of swords and you can easily avoid this energy eight of swords is self-analysis or analysis paralysis to where we can overthink things here i feel like you're really being encouraged here to like really trust and believe in your own ideas here and to get clear with what is true for you so that way you can know what that way you can know what by knowing what's true for you right you know what actions to take but if you're kind of caught up in things or doing things that aren't in alignment with what it is that you want to do or that in a, that aren't in alignment with your truth then you're going to feel like in this eight of swords energy you're going to feel stuck and wondering like what to do and we'll clarify that here but i think you can easily avoid this let's clarify your reading towards clarify the full card here for the in the position of the good stuff here coming to you this month you have these seven of wands again which is also in the position of the good stuff so yeah it's like you're finding the strength and the courage and the conviction here to liberate yourself right and i also do see you overcoming to where if you feel like the odds are stacked against you whatever they are i see you being able to overcome them and feel free from them clarify the ten of cups here for the overall energy you pull the three of wands three of wands is a card of when your ships do come in now this is the overall energy here and the three of wands as well represents freedom too it's like you're finally being free here to pursue what is meaningful and what what makes you happy here but i almost kind of get here i gotta be real towards so it's like you're having though to 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 take that action to do that because even with that card that says the way is clear awaken to the power within you it's like there's nothing really holding you back anymore you know it's almost like the illusion the south node card that you pull because the south node can represent illusions like the illusions of of things that could could be showing you you know could be you know could be keeping you or holding you back but it's just an illusion but it's time to shatter that illusion here with this vanishing mirror card clarify the seven of wands here also in the good stuff you pulled the queen of wands queen of wands is the temperament of being happy right being able to follow your heart's desires being able to reclaim your self-expression and your authenticity right and also just feeling more empowered and encouraged here right to to start doing the things here that will bring you that sense of satisfaction clarify the devil card here in your current energy you have the eight of swords here yeah here goes the eight of swords again and this could be too you know the eight of swords is also a card of being restricted and feeling binded 
you could be definitely be feeling stuck at this time but it's interesting i feel like it could be like the quickest way to get out of the eight of swords and the devil card is the knight of swords which is in your future position it's like sometimes we can get caught up in our own minds and we can just be lost in our own minds we overanalyze everything we talk ourselves out of things we criticize ourselves we criticize others but this is about allowing yourself to be to, to not get stuck in that analysis paralysis like to understand that you're free right to, you can at any point you can set yourself free here by just taking some form of action here that's going to move the chariot forward clarify the chariot here in the position of your challenge you pull the nine of swords i think there's a lot of worry and stress about you know whether or not you will be able to succeed or triumph or be able to move in the direction that you want and at this time you may be wondering you know questioning like what is my sense of direction i don't know what action to take i don't know what direction to move in so let's let's see let's clarify this eight of cups as the advice you pull the nine of pentacles here yeah the eight of cups nine of pentacles as the advice I, I almost get here that if you're finding yourself in an energy of just feeling like i don't know what actions to take i don't know what to do like am i doing the right thing you know i the eight of cups is saying don't be too hard on yourself have compassion for yourself allow yourself to become aware of your steps but start taking steps here right you never know unless you start taking steps because through taking a step you get feedback right and you see okay whether or not something worked or whether or not something didn't work but it's through that process it's like you're able to make adjustments you're able to understand okay well that didn't work so let me do this or this worked okay let me keep doing that and the nine of pentacles is a card as well with that eight of cups you know to not get caught up in comparison i almost feel for some of you like one thing that could be keeping you back or holding you back is that you could be comparing yourself to other people maybe you're seeing other people's success or maybe you're looking at other things and you could be telling yourself i can't have that or they're better than me or i'm not good um, but really the nine of pentacles eight of cups is saying no like you have your own gifts skills talents and abilities here um and you eight of cups is like wanting you to become aware of them it's like you do have value here and to also remember that you know you're worthy of the things here that you want to create clarify the knight of swords here in the future position you pulled the tower which the tower is a card of breaking through having a breakthrough and a tower is a card of change in general so and it's like the reset button of the tarot so you could be liberating yourself or finding something very liberating whenever you take action here or this could even be news coming your way or things coming your way here that help you get unstuck clarify the two of swords here you pulled the knight of wands here yeah knight of wands is about being bold right taking bold courageous actions here it's like, like again it's like you could be on the fence here but I feel like, and you could be doubting yourself. Knight of Wands is saying, you know, fortune favors the bold. Be bold and take action here in the direction in which is true for you. Clarify the Eight of Swords here in the outcome. You pull the Chariot. So the Chariot, it's like you're getting success and victory, triumphing and moving forward. But I kind of, I kind of, I got to be real, Taurus. There is this energy, and I feel like this is where you can easily avoid this eight of so you can easily avoid this eight of swords energy. Like, don't compare yourself to other people, right? Uh, don't compare your progress or your journey to another person's progress or another person's journey. Because I see you getting success and moving forward, but it's almost like you kind of get wrapped back up into that, and that could be, you know, that could be slowing things down here. If you want to keep that momentum and keep moving forward, like compare yourself to yourself. Right, and celebrate with the eight of cups nine of pentacles celebrate your own little victories and your own wins here and embrace like your own journey with that eight of cups because this is about your life your own spiritual journey your own spiritual quest here so that's what i got for you taurus in your monthly reading i'm gonna leave your reading here i appreciate you for watching if you would like to book a personal reading with me the link will be down below again in the description if you're new to the channel i encourage you to subscribe also hit the notification button bell as well and if you like the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me otherwise in that taurus i'm wishing you the best for the rest of the month or for the month of september and i'll see you in your next video